So today I thought I'd create a really nice makeup look using all the Too Faced products. So anyone who knows me knows how much I love Too Faced and my extreme obsession with them. I actually can't wait to go to the US later this year for my honeymoon because I cannot wait to just buy so much Too Faced stuff I'm going to like become a hoarder literally. So, I have a bare face at the moment, I'm starting with a clear face, and I'll basically talk you through the products I'm applying and what, what they are if you're interested in buying them, and see what you think of the look. So this is my Mecca bag, as you can see, yay Mecca! Mwah. So I got all my Too Faced stuff from there, and it's so good, it's right above where I work, and it's just fabulous, so I'm literally like their best customer, I'm in there like every day, and they're like, hi! I'm surprised they actually don't know me by name. So I'm going to be applying the Primed and Poreless Too Faced Primer. It feels like a so velvety when you apply it because basically it's just supposed to fill in the pores, give your skin that even texture for when you're applying your foundation. Next up, my new favourite foundation. So basically, if you've watched some of my other videos, you might have heard me mention the fact that in October, so in about six weeks, I'm getting married. And um, anyone who really kind of knows products and makeup and a little bit about it, if you've worked in the industry or anything, you would know that using any products with SPF in them can, during flash photography, turn your face quite white. And recently, obviously, I, I love it and I still use it throughout the day and everything and it's a great primer, but I normally use the MAC Protect and Prime primer. Fabulous, but it has SPF like 50 in it and so that won't work. Whether it's under your foundation or it is your foundation, anything with SPF in it won't work. A lot of MAC products do have SPF in them. It's great for protecting the skin totally or for it. I hate to get sunburnt and I hate to be in the sun, but for the purpose of a wedding, it's not ideal. So I've been on the lookout for a fabulous foundation that lasts all day, looks flawless, is a little bit more tanned because on the wedding day I will be tanned and I also like to be tanned as a standard thing. Anyone that knows me knows I'm pretty much always brown. Um, but so I wanted one that wasn't oily, that was fairly matte and that I could really like use on my wedding day and trust it because I hate going away from my usual foundations and then going, oh, like, this isn't what, like, I expect it to be and, oh, so annoying. So I don't know what that was, a hair ring. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying a new foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way foundation was launched in Australia last Thursday. So I literally was the first person in there, like, knocking on the door of Mecca being like, let me in, I need to get the face Too Faced foundation. And they were like, come in, you freak. No. <laughs> That, but I did go in on the first day that was pretty much launched here and I bought the colour Warm Beige. So that's that. That's it there. It's a full medium to full coverage foundation. And so I, I really, I've been loving it. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day since I've gotten it. I wore it on my hen's night on the weekend and if, if it's going to last for a night out like that where you're you know, busy, you're running around, you're probably going to get a bit sweaty, whatever, then well done so I got the darker color because I wanted a color that would match my skin for when I'm tanned as you can see I'm quite brown at the moment still quite brown from the weekend so I'm just applying that with my Sigma duo fiber powder slash blush brush f15 I haven't been using it for powder or for blush I've really been loving it to just buff on my foundation so obviously with brushes you don't have to use exact ones for exactly what they say. Everyone can sort of work with the brush how they feel like they want it to go. I normally either apply my foundation with a foundation brush or sometimes with a beauty blender if I like a little bit lighter of a coverage. But they're pretty much the only ways I apply foundation. So as you can see, it's pretty blendable. You can pretty much blend it fully in and it works. But that was literally like one and a half pumps and it pretty much covered the entire face. I just like to build it up because I like a very full coverage, especially for something like my wedding day. So this one, as I was saying about SPF, has no SPF in it. It's oil free. 
so it won't slide around my face. Even though I have dry skin, I definitely don't want a foundation that's too oily. And it's a full coverage, which I like. Next up, to powder my face and set my foundation, I will be using MAC. I'll be using the MAC Pro Longwear Powder in Medium Plus. It's pretty much my go-to powder. I really like it. And I'll be applying it with the large powder F20 Sigma brush. So I just dab on my powder. So next up, I'll be priming my eyelids for my eyeshadow. Oh, just go into my little Mecca bag here and search around. So recently I was using the Too Faced eyeshadow insurance in just the, it's just a normal white, it's just a beige. But my friends for my birthday got me the Too Faced eyeshadow insurance in the color champagne. So it is a nude eyeshadow, but it has a slight shimmer to it. I have to say, since they got it for me, I've been using it like every day. It's so nice and it just, I'll apply it and you'll see, it just has a shimmer to it. So it gives a really nice base for the eyeshadow. Unless you're wearing a really matte eyeshadow and you want to stick with a really matte look, which is fine because I often do wear a matte eyeshadow. Uh, even sometimes I still use this one anyway because I just like it. But then in which case you could use the plain sort of base white shadow insurance that I was talking about. I'll show you it now. It's in the green that one there so that's the one I normally use but since as I said since they got me that one I've been using it and I just really like it because as you can see it has a very very slight hint of shimmer to it and it's so nice. Next up the natural eyes palette by Too Faced. I got this the other day and I love it because I love neutral eyeshadows. I love playing with colors and it's always fun but look how cute this little palette is like I'm just gonna show you so nice it's got the prettiest colors and I just I've been obsessed with it since I got it like I've used it I use as I, I use on the weekend and I really think this will probably be my go-to shadow for the wedding again because I don't want anything too shimmery or sparkly because I don't want it catching the light or looking too overdone I want to look glam but I want to look natural and this has really, really pretty soft shimmers, but also a lot of really pretty matte nudes. So to begin, I'm going to take my Sigma Blending E25 brush, that's that one there, and I'll be dipping my brush in the color Erotica. So that's that one there. It's a really pretty sort of, this is a shimmery color, brown. I'm starting with the darker color because sometimes when I start with a lighter color on the lid, I find the darker color just blends into it and it just doesn't have the same band that it could have. So I'm gonna start with the brown so it can set itself on my lid. And then I'll blend it out later with the other color that I use that will be the main shadow lid color. These eyeshadows are really nice and pigmented, which is so important. I hate getting an eyeshadow palette and <laughs> applying the eyeshadow and being like, ugh. Well, that's a little bit dodgy. It's just so gonna be here for five hours layering it up to even see like just the hint, smallest hint of color. That is not the way this palette is. So that's why I'm like kind of starting, trying to start slow with the colors. I don't wanna dip my brush in it and take it straight to the eye and then get it everywhere because they are quite pigmented and it, it can look a bit messy otherwise. Next up, I want to take the color Push Up, which is that one there, which is so cute. It's just a really pretty, I don't even know what you'd call that. It's like a taupey color. It's just so nice. This one goes really nicely over the eyeshadow insurance. It's almost a very similar color to it. So I'm just gonna dab that one on the lid and then taking my blending brush again with Obviously, whatever product was left on it, I'm just going to blend it in. I'm not going to go all the way into the corners of my eyes because there's no need for that. I don't want to close up my eyes too much. I just want to create a really pretty sort of semi-circle. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. Sort of an arch around it and blend it up and out in the outer corners. Next up, taking my Sigma Short Shader Brush in... E20. I'll be taking the colour Heaven. It's the top one there. You can see it. Yeah. So dipping it in. This is a really nice whitey colour. 
I like this one for the brow bone because I feel like it really highlights it. So very slightly just dust that one up there. I'll need to fill in my brows later and clean them up. Next up, I'm going to be applying my Le Future Lashes in the Style Solange. So I'm just going to, as I've shown you the packaging, it's so cute. That's it there, don't fall out this time. <laughs> okay, so I've applied my Duo Eyelash Adhesive onto the lashes. I've tried to apply a minimal amount. I'm letting it dry as much as possible, make it really tacky. And then I'm going to just take my little compact and look at my eye while I apply it down. Just wait for it to dry a little bit more. You want to try and get it, as I've said before, like as tacky as you can. I know sometimes it's just like, oh, hurry up and go on, but it's better for it to be as sticky as possible so it doesn't move around as they often can. So just taking that one. Once you've applied your lashes, <clears throat> in order to get them to blend in, you might need to take just a little brush, can be anyone, I might use my Sigma Flat Definer in E15, and just taking any dark colour, I'm going to use the Sexpresso colour from the Naturalized palette, and you could just sort of run that very lightly, just on the outer corners of the lash line just to sort of blend it very slightly, unless you have got liquid liner, in which case if you've got liquid liner, you can just sort of go over the liquid liner and darken it up again. Helps to blend in the lashes a little bit more. I'm just very slightly just, do I want to take it too much into the inner corner? I'm just gonna blend that one out, just cause I want to keep those inner corners nice and light. But you can dabble over with whatever color you used, you can very lightly just go back in and brighten up that inner corner. Next up, you can line the lash line with a mascara. I'm going to use my Too Faced Lash Injection Mascara and I'm just going to coat my natural lashes as well as, so underneath the lashes that I applied, I'm just coating very slightly because otherwise you do get that little bit of a shadow underneath if your lashes are quite light. Try and take it into the corners a little bit. And then obviously as well, the bottom lash line. Just to blend everything together a little bit more. Next up, I'm going to define my brows. Now, I know this one isn't Too Faced, but I really am in love with it, and it goes so nicely with all the Too Faced products. It's also a Mecca product. It's from Stilla. It is the Orkstay All Day Waterproof Brow Color, and it's actually a, like, it's a brow liner. So it's almost like a liquid liner, but for your brows. I hadn't ever tried anything like this before, but I've become obsessed with it since I bought it just the other day. So comb your brows with a little comb or anything you've got, just get this hair out of the way, it's a bit crazy. First, get them into the shape you want. That's it there, I've got the color dark. Now, with a really, really light touch, you don't want to heavily do this because otherwise all the color just comes flooding out. Just start on the ends. As you can see, a, a color already, quite obvious color comes out. and begin to create a nice defined line. I'm actually drawing a brow on because I don't really love the shape sometimes of my brows. But I'm literally barely even touching the parts at the top. Like I'm literally barely even touching them. 
along here. Barely even touched, just a little bit of color, but minimal. Then taking your comb or your spoolie, whatever you choose. I like these sorts of little, they're like a disposable eyelash wand. I like to use them. I find they comb the brows amazingly. Comb in that color. So don't be afraid to be a little bit more, like be gentle with it. You don't want to comb that color out completely, but just fix it up so it actually looks natural. No one wants to look like they've literally drawn their brows on, even that we have. So I just got my brows waxed and so it always takes off like a layer of my skin or something. So I look like white above the brows, but. Okay. Once you've done that, they'll stay in place naturally. You don't need to put a gel or anything on, but I will go back to my Too Faced Naturalized palette that I've been using the entire time and taking a little brush, I'm gonna use the short shader Taking that colour Heaven again, I'm just going to very lightly, like I'm literally like barely even touching my skin, I'm just defining under that brow. Next up, just to contour, I will be using my NARS Paloma Contour Kit. I will be taking my Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush. It's not really a large fluff, it's kind of, it's small, it's like little. So how I contour is, I'm going to take that and I'm literally going to make like a short line like that. And on the other side, a short line. And then I'm just going to blend it in minimally, but you know, just blend. It's fine if you can still see it. That's not a problem. You can take it up here if you like. Just where the hairline is. You don't have to. Put it back down again. And then taking my powder blush in F10 from Sigma, I'm going to use my Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer. It's so pretty. That's what it looks like there. So it's got those four shimmery colors. I obviously haven't used and using. Obviously haven't used this one for contouring. As you don't use shimmery colors for contouring, you use matte. That's why I love the um, Nars one for that one. Then taking the brush, dipping it in the Beach Bunny, and sort of just dabbing it off, just blending over that contour and bronzing. This blush is. This bronzer is beautiful. It's so soft, it's so sheeny, it's shimmery, it's gorgeous. Take that up onto the top of your head there in the hairline. You can just blend it over the main parts of your face. It, it literally can be used anywhere. I'm going to use it under my chin and down onto my neck. It's not too, too dark, which I like. Like, you can apply it and not worry. I'm just going to go over my nose and the forefront of my face. But I am going to highlight as well anyway. I just blend that all in. And then taking the NARS again and using the light colour on the palette, the white, I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Highlighter in F35 and just, just highlight the top of the cheekbones a little bit. So this isn't a harsh colour, it'll blend really nicely with your Beach Bunny bronzer, but it just lightens up under the eyes a little bit. Along the forefront of the face, can go up onto your forehead. You want this part of your face, this arch here, to be nice and highlighted. So just highlight along there, along the sides of the nose. Next up, I'm going to take my Sigma Large Fluff again and dip it in the brown of the NARS and just very lightly contour my nose, just like so. Just lining the sides and then the tip to make it appear a bit shorter. And then I'll just blend it. 
I can go back over it a little bit using the highlighting brush with a bit of highlighter again on it just to highlight the main part of it. But you don't want to sort of take away from the contour. You want to keep it there, but you don't want the contour to be too strong. Next up, I'll be lining my lips with the Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner in, I think it's Perfect Nude. Yeah, Perfect Nude. So that one is really cute. It's got a really nice twisty little thing at the bottom. You can just make it go up a little bit more, but I still feel like mine's pretty, pretty up. I don't really want it to be too much more. So I have overdrawn my lips a little bit, but not too much. And then taking the Too Faced La Creme lipstick in Razzle Dazzle Rose. It's a really pretty pink. How nice is that packaging, by the way? So glam. Just apply to the lips. And then my last but not least tip. The Melted Too Faced Longwear Lipstick. I got that as a little free gift when I bought the Warm Beige Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And I'm obsessed with it. It is the best colour ever. Look at it. So, uh, yeah, that is. You just squeeze, it comes out a little brush. guys just a really nice pretty glam look perfect for you can wear it in the day if you want to if you like to wear a bit more makeup or perfect for the night using pretty much like 95% Too Faced products obviously in Australia we don't get all the Too Faced range like I know we are missing some things like the Vegas Nay palette which I really really want but that's fine I get it when I go to America um but yeah, so I pretty much use as many Too Faced products as possible because I love them and why not but all available, all the products I use are pretty much available at Mecca, Maxima, um, or Mecca Cosmetica sells some as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media and I'll see you at my next video. Bye.